first things first, when you're starting to do a network test, you need to have the OTDR, digital scope, one clicks, launch cable for multi-mode, launch cable for single mode, and then that's a simulation box. The most important step before you start testing is to make sure your connectors are clean. I recommend using a nice one click. You will need one for Sam Charlie and you'll need one for Lima Charlie. The, this particular one is a Sam Charlie Ultra. It has a very large wipe, which will do the bolt head and the connector. Without the adapter on, this is for the bolt head. With the adapter on, it's for the connector. All you do is remove the cap, slide it in, click it one time. To make sure we have a nice, clean end face, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it on the digital scope. It's gonna analyze it by hitting this capture button right here. It passed. The reason that this is so important is, look how easy it is to contaminate this. That was just touching it to my finger. Now look at that. Now, we're gonna throw it back in here. We're gonna give it the true one click. Slide it back in. Look at that difference. Make sure you clean both connectors. The connector that's going into the OTDR, now that we know it's clean, we're just gonna straight click that guy right in. The next step is we're gonna clean the network side. And when you guys have an OTDR, make sure that you only use the one end in the OTDR at all times. Never mix match. In this instance, we're going to LC so we can't. But the same thing goes, we just want to make sure that we click it, make sure it's clean, and then we're going to plug this into the network. Next thing you want to do is you're going to hit Smart OTDR. I'm going to pick my fiber type. I know I'm doing 62.5, so I'm going to click OM1. Uh, I do have a launch cable. I'm just going to make sure that it's 150 meters. That's what these standard launch cables are. And then I'm gonna hit play. It's gonna check my launch quality, make sure everything is at adequate. So this is the most accurate OTDR on the market. Right now it's doing its multi-part expression. It's shooting all the way through the end and it's detecting where each event is. Right now we're starting to see it compiling the network. So we have its estimated distance. So the full run on this is saying it's uh, 42 meters. So I have my OTDR, the yellow is my launch cable. The first part is this first connector right there. So I can hit this button right here. It tells me at 10.7 meters, it does not meet spec. I can actually go in and see what my losses are. There's my loss. If I wanna do a traditional trace route, I can check it out like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to the full network. I'm gonna hit point to point link. This is gonna show me the beginning to the end. I can go to the original trace route and it's gonna show me my OTDR is blue, launch cable is yellow, and the network is in between. And it shows me that I have five events, and then you can see where it ends. If I had a launch cable, we could get an accurate reading of the last connector. I'm gonna go back to link map, and again, I'm gonna to go to this connector. So at 20.5 meters, we have a good connector. This is what our loss rating is. I'm gonna arrow over to the end. And again, I have another good connector at 31.4 meters. And then this is where my end connector is. And it uh, that's where the trace route ends. So I can go into my 
trace route, I can see where everything is dropping. I can go into my losses. And then I'm back to the regular network. Then all we have to do is plug this in via USB, uh, open up the TRM software that comes with this, and we use this as an external hard drive, and we come with eight templates that you can create a very simple to very complex report if you need to have it. Um, also, when you're doing images with the digital scope, now I'm gonna show you how to send the end face image to the OTDR. Slide in the connection, hit capture, going to say pass. In order to save and send, I'm going to hit the capture button again. There, now you have it on the OTDR. It'll show you any issues that you have and it shows that it passes. And you can print this right in the report so you have a record of it. In case you need a roll truck again, you can prove that it was clean when you left the facility.